How's it going everyone? I thought I'd do something a little different on my channel. In a couple of days, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War comes out. I'm a huge fan of the zombies mode. So I thought I'd create a concept theme for the zombies main menu. About 10 days ago, Treyarch released the official main menu zombies music, but I thought I'd create my own concept just because I'm a huge fan of it. But yeah, it's something very different on my channel, so I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be quite a short video to show you my process and how I made it. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it and let's get into this. So to start with, I start with the main piano arp, the very signature one. It's been in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Done some simple loca EQs. And then the main part is the reverb here. Creates the big atmosphere. This is the this is the core element of the whole theme. Then added some delay, ping pong delay. Help widen out the sound, give it a bit more eerie atmosphere. I then clicked Alt and R to randomize the velocity and release. This gives it more of a human feel, more spooky feel. Some notes are soft, some notes are harder. Get some nice dynamic range in the theme. I then done a small time lapse here, doing some small notes on the fourth beat in each section. It's a simple stab, just a simple E key. And then the last one goes up to the F sharp. Add some weird tension there. Done the same thing, reverb and delay, give it more of an eerie atmosphere. Then use a fab filter simple on to cut out some of the highs on the main piano. Filter it a bit more, give more space for the other sounds. Cleans up the mix a bit more. I then pitch it down two semitones just to give it more of a different vibe compared to the original. Also gives me some more inspiration on what I could add later into the theme. I then added a very subtle F sharp string. I pitched it up again because every now and then I like pitching up the theme, gives me a different vibe, gives me more ideas, helps the creativity flow. I then added a very subtle C sharp and D harmonization on the string. I added a stereo enhancer on this, making it more wider. Here comes the bass note, a very, very low string. This is doing the bass of the string. Then copied the C sharp and D, pasted it down two octaves, create a more thick texture, slowly build up. I then changed the final chord to the B. And this is what we have so far. I then opened up Splice to find a, a nice reverb vocal atmosphere. That's the one I picked. I then added more reverb to give it more of an atmosphere. This creates a whole vibe. This is a very, very important element of the whole theme. Then looped this four bar section. And now it sounds like this. Starting to get that eerie feel, that zombie's eerie feel. And then got a heartbeat and a huge reverb breath. And I cut out one specific part of the heartbeat and used it as a kick drum. Then done a small sub boost and cut out 100 hertz range, made it mono. Then made a duplicate of the reverse breath, made it reverse and it slowly sweeps in. This creates a nice eerie atmosphere as well. I 
And I went to find some percussion to add more movement in the track, give it a nice little groove, get the head bopping. I found this rim shot here from Kashmir. And then added some reverb, cut out some of the highs, make it more muffled, lo-fi. And then added some, another trap snare from Kashmir. This has some delay. And that hits on the second snare. Now you've got your head bopping now, the percussion's moving, the delay gets your head bopping, adds a more groove to the track. I then added this weird Kashmir fear strike, very, very eerie. Pitch it down to the right key, and then I added this other one here, it's a reverb delay. Sounds like a crow almost. Just some small ear candy to help fill up the atmosphere in the track, keep the track moving. Then added that most iconic Nactar and Toten sound, the round change to creepy laugh. Very, very iconic. Then copied and pasted the breath over to continue that going. And after that, I've done some small little adjustments, some automation, added a choir. A half time from Gross Beat to start the intro. Added a volume automation for the string to add more of a realistic feel. And these are some of the effects, that's the round chain. Here's the choir I added. And just some extra notes to create some harmonies. Yeah, that is pretty much the theme I created. I hope you enjoyed. It's something very different on my channel, very different from my EDM stuff. I'm going to play through the final result. I hope you enjoyed. Got a new video coming in a couple of days. There's a festival drop for main stage. It's very, very good. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Without further ado, enjoy the theme.